In today's lesson, your class will discover that God is a loving Father. And the way that God wants us to get to know Him as our loving Father is through prayer. Uh, Matthew 6 is going to record for us Jesus talking to his disciples about prayer. And he says a lot of interesting things. One, he says that prayer isn't something that we do just to be seen by others. This is the way that the Pharisees prayed. Uh, on the other hand, he'll say that prayer isn't a bunch of magic words that we just repeat over and over, thinking that somehow those magic words will cause God to do something. Instead, Jesus gives us an example of prayer to follow. And in this prayer, Jesus says, talk to God as your loving Father and reach out to him. Ask him to provide the things you need and he will do it. Now, as you get into this lesson, be sure and talk to your class about the following things. First, our Father wants us to know Him. This is an amazing truth that we should come back to over and over. But in the Lord's Prayer, we will hear uh, Jesus say that uh, we are to ask God to do things on earth as they are in heaven. And it's easy for us to think that God is maybe locked away in heaven, but we can know Him here on earth every bit as much as we will know Him in heaven. Second, God wants to provide for us. Uh, in this sample prayer, we will hear Jesus say uh, that we should ask God for our daily bread. But God wants to provide not only our physical needs like food and shelter and clothing, He also wants to provide for our emotional needs. So if we're sad or if we're discouraged, God wants to meet those needs. And even more than that, He wants to meet our spiritual needs. Things like salvation and redemption and the forgiveness of sins. And finally, our Father wants to protect us from the enemy. God loves you. He loves me. And his desire is for good in our lives. And there is an enemy that seeks to steal and to kill and destroy. But God at every turn will intervene. He will protect us. He loves us. And it is his joy to do good things for his children. Now, after this lesson, be sure and check out our post-lesson game, Dance, Freeze, Pray. This activity is going to get your class moving. They'll have a lot of fun, and it's a great follow-up to today's lesson.